Oh, you're going to like this one, Will. How about a smart garage door or a smart door from a company famous for making garage doors, a smart pet door for $3,000. You gonna go for that yeah. or what? Okay, it's not cheap, I agree. It's not cheap, but but I see the look you're giving me right now. Yeah. You're giving me a look like, Lou, why are you bringing this to me right now? I don't, don't show me something like this, $3,000 pet door. Yeah. But it's pretty smart. Okay. It's pretty cool, so you if you go- smart. Okay, so you start to scroll down and you're Smart getting and you get door. upset at first. You see the dog go through. You think, oh god, imagine how spoiled this dog. He's got a three thousand dollar door. Then, then you scroll down a little bit more and a little bit more than that, There's and an and you see the diary of the dog, how many times they go outside and for how long and and everything else. And now you're very upset. You're like, hey, this dog has a better life than I do. Uh, but then you go check the video, and this is what happened to me. This is the path that I went down and okay. I checked the video and all of a sudden I was like you know what man they might have some here now maybe three G's is just a little crazy but they might have some here so pause it pause it right now by the way the dog in the video that dog you just saw his name's Otis as well really how do you know because I watched the video oh and the audio the oh, guy okay. the guy so first off the door has a camera facing the dog the dog is wearing a tag on his collar, which activates the camera and sends a notification to the smartphone when the dog approaches the door. The guy can then talk to the dog via speaker by activating it on the smartphone. Mm. And once he verifies the dog's actually standing there and needs to go outside, he can hit a button, open the motorized door so the dog can go out, huh. go pee, do whatever, spend some time in the backyard, and that guy can stay at the bar where he was with his pals. He doesn't have to go home to let the dog out. Right. And then the same thing goes when the dog has to get back in. Uh-huh. There's a camera he can look outside to see his backyard to make sure everything is fine and the dog's just playing around. So he's just watching the dog. He's having his beverage. Yeah. He sees the activity. Go ahead, Will. Let us have it. What no. do you got? <laughs> what do you got for us? Go ahead. I mean, this is probably the best use case for this... Uh I mean, this video. It I mean, what if you wake up in the morning, dog has to go out, but you need to catch 15 minutes of extra sleep. You just grab your phone beside you, uh -huh. crack open the door. Uh, listen, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. Um, it's just really expensive, you know? I mean, I'm not going to buy a dog door. No, for I know. Grand. No, I know. And you got to install cool it. And you got to install it and everything else. But, you know, I don't know. I might go for it. What can I say? Yeah, why not? I might go for it. it. I might have to uh, be that guy in the bar at some point in my life. The guy, mm. the guy at the bar right there. Yeah, it's opening doors for your dog remotely while you're at the bar. You know, I don't know if it's gonna work seamlessly like that. I mean, there's yeah. could be issues, but a lot of people have that problem, right? They leave the house and they don't know what to do about the dog. There's definitely anxiety there. Yeah, you know, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. There's no cameras. Yeah. Yeah. So you know about that. I, I hear you.